Hello everyone, my name is the Ultimate Spy, and welcome to Deckard's A Curtain Call Story. So this is another game in the Curtain Call series, more like an extension of the series. Um, but I set up to play it uh, when I got the chance to, and here I am. So um, I don't know anything about the game, I know it's important to record, you know, you know traditional FNAF, um, probably have the same kind of stuff that the previous entries had, um, I don't know anything about it really though. Uh, we just have really good gameplay shots at all, so I'm kind of going black with this, but uh, I think that the, 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 the animatronic on the, uh, on the, uh, the downloaded it, it looks pretty terrifying, so I have no idea what I've been for. Let's go ahead and, uh, and play it. Uh, apparently there's seven nights, so um, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a bit of a long one, so yeah. There is a legend whispered among the people of this town. Oh, enter. A legend about the house of of the late Deckard Hare. Okay. They say a monster haunted this his family. For many years, people have showed signs that this monster is indeed real. People swore to have heard screaming coming from the reportedly abandoned house. Others were reported to suffer hallucinations of this monster, followed by hor horrifying nightmares. Dozens have taken their lives. Oh my god. They say that the monster if seen or heard, will cause you to commit suicide. Though these are just urban legends. Oh my god. Kids are affected differently by this monster. They seem to refuse to eat as if starving themselves. All the while, scrolling images of what they've seen on whatever they can find. Eventually, they die, just like everyone else. If you try to help them, They've been reported to show extreme, extremely hostile behavior. I can't let this go on any longer. It's time for me to take action. Let's see what this monster truly is. Okay! God, this great lore so far. Night one, alright. It's a great story, to be honest. It's fantastic. Very dark. Ugh. True horror. Alright. <laughs> see what we're in for. Okay, uh... What the hell? Oh! Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, hey man. I've seen hey. you made it. Uh, the gist of this is that you're gonna stay in your station until sunrise. Describe what you see. We provide you with cameras that let you look around the house. Click on the monitor to activate them. When you're done, just flick down and you can exit the system. Each of the cameras slowly run out of power when you use them, but you can always recharge by clicking and holding on the charge cameras icon on the upper left of your screen. Gotcha. Uh, we're still fixing the system we provided you with, but as of now, only the cameras are online. Monster, as people have called it, seems to drive people mad. If you ever see it, I suggest not looking at it for too long. So I gotta, I gotta make sure I don't, uh, see the monster. I see it, I look away, god damn it. And I think if it gets to, my, to this camera, I have to then go out of here and then click the button and it'll go away. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Each, each camera. Sound. What the hell? 
Is that because we're using the monitor? I think so, honestly. It's still there. It's terrifying. God, there's red eyes. Or orange eyes. That's terrifying. <laughs> Oh, it's gone, it's gone. Okay, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, right there, right there. Damn, that's terrifying. It's not a traditional trick call game. It's just a freaking monster. Like, it's it's FNAF, but it's like not FNAF. It's a very different kind of FNAF game. took my life. I need you to help me stop it. Took what? Are you dead dead or something? My mind is foggy, but one thing is clear. 1907. I don't know what it is, but but I remember it. Let's talk again tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. So good. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so different. It's so unique and so well done. All right. God, it's like, it's even better than, than you normally think it is. It's, it's amazing. Oh. oh, pill. Okay, so I can add that. Very interesting. Hey, congrats. You <laughs> your first shift. We are yeah. one step closer to solving this mystery. Tonight, we haven't updated your monitor systems yet. So cameras will have to do for tonight. What we did do was provide you with some medications if you ever feel the need to take them. If you feel queasy or your vision starts blurring, you should take your meds. Okay. Since we're on a tight budget with this investigation, we can only provide you with 10 per night, so only take them if absolutely necessary. Gotcha. You can take your meds by simply clicking on the bottle cap. That's all for tonight. See you tomorrow. God, this thing is, looks terrifying. Oh my god. There's a real monster right there. I don't know what it reminds me of. It's just, ugh. Go away kind of thing, you know? It's not nice. I don't know what that means. Sanity meter right there. I don't know what that does. This we're gonna go insane eventually? We 
you're not you don't live with animatronics anymore. But it is a very you know, it has FNAF style to it. Modern cameras and stuff like that. And like instead of an animatronic where that big is up against the fucking monster, so it's very different. I'm waiting because he's not going to be getting here anytime soon. Oh, he's there, okay. Okay, so let's see, he's charging. Okay. Good, good, good. Yeah, I think if I do the monster too long, it's probably going to cause problems. So I probably should do that. Okay. We're good. This is a great game, honestly. Love, love it. Yeah, it's so different. It's so original and different from the uh, previous entries because the previous entries are so like Play, um, but you know, obviously classic FNAF, but like this one is, it just changes the game so much. Not an electronic anymore, it's a freaking monster. Horrifying, ugh. It's like you want to get away from it as soon as possible. Okay, it's this one charging. Oh, so charge cams, okay. I think the button could be. We can go insane, oh god. I think I just... Okay, hold on, hold on to it. That works? Did that work? Tell me that works. Oh god. Did that work? I really hope it worked. I think it did work. Oh, yep, it worked. Okay, so I, I... I don't flash it, I have to like hold, hold, the, hold the light on it. Gotcha, okay. That makes sense. It does indeed, because I have no other ideas. <laughs> God, what is that thing? Like, what is it? I mean, it's just a monster. Like, there's no explanation for it. It's a monster, that's all it is. It's just like a thing. A creature. Some horrifying creature. Not an animatronic. Right? I like the fact that, uh, rookie reviews who, uh, the Curse Call series, uh, as well as this one, obviously. Um, I like how he's approached the, the series differently. There you go. Yay! Just said tapes number two. Tips? Okay. Huh. Does that unlock in the action menu? Huh. Hello again? I see you are safe. I still don't understand. I am dead. How can you hear me? Not one to talk, huh? I recall more and more every day. Mostly numbers. I think there's some sort of passcodes. Maybe they'll help you with the monster. 2467. Note that. I'm sorry I can't be any more help to you. Good luck. Alright! Oh my god! Alright! I'll have to remember that number, by the way. I'll have to, um, write that down. Yeah, this is great game. Honestly, I love it so much. It's so different. Like, traditional fan games are, you know, animatronic survival. That's the idea. Like, this game, I've never ever had a, a series that I've played, you know, where an installment in that series has completely changed the way you play the game. Because, um, like, you're not facing a, a, up against an animatronic anymore. It's a freaking monster. A, a uh, terrifying monster. I don't know what it is, but it's absolutely terrifying. Um, so, I like this a lot. It's so different than the uh, past games, although I never actually was able to complete Curt Call 2, but I was able to complete the last one. Uh, and this is great, honestly. I'm really, really happy I'm playing this. This is great. It's so original and so unique and uh, so different from uh, what he's done in the past because 
I feel like a lot of times, you know, it's nice to have something fresh, although having you can have twists on it is good, you know, having cameras you monitor and all that stuff. Um, there's not really any like time limit. You don't want to have like a uh, 12 days, you know, 16 kind of thing. You just kind of go until you, I guess, survive. menu real quick. Okay, we have the cassette tapes. I've, I've only got the, the first two notes are done. Let's see what we have for the cassette tapes. I want to I listen to this before we do anything else. My name is Bell Hare, and I'm recording this to keep track of my husband Deckard's behavior. He's an inventor at heart, and he has made a good living out of it. Ever since he struck a deal with some man, he won't tell me about it. He's been working in the basement all day. He locks the door behind him and rarely ever comes out. I'm starting to fear this man has manipulated him into doing something horrible. Okay, um, is there another one we have? Use the flashlight to send him out of your station. You have to keep it over his eyes for some time and make him disappear. Okay, I was doing it right the entire time. Okay. My name. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, I don't need to do that anymore. Okay, so. We just had the first one, right? Alright, I'm confused though. Is that it? Oh, there's another one. I have to click the button. Okay. Today, he stopped talking. It's only been a week since he started this behavior. And his eyes are already bloodshot. Like he hasn't slept in months. Oh, his God. palms and knuckles are full of wounds. And I'm starting to fear for the- That's it! It just stops. Okay. All right, well, that's interesting. Okay, I guess we, we could probably, uh, every episode we do, uh, every two nights, we just listen to more cassette tapes. I think that's a good, a good way of doing it. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode of Deckard's A Critical Story. I love it so much. It's so different, so unique, and so, uh, so amazing, honestly. Just a different kind of, uh, a different kind of enemy, but we're also used to you know, being in a, a, like, a establishment where we're, uh, you know, losing camera. Is like you know we're in a house. This is so different, so I think I love it a lot. It's very cool. I'm really enjoying it so much. It's very cool with the, especially with, with collecting like the tapes and the tapes are helpful, but it's the tapes that is really good. Like, that's kind of amazing. So, yeah, I am really enjoying this game so far, and it's fantastic. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Duckers: A Curtain Call Story. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button. I really appreciate it, and if you are new to this channel, subscribe for more episodes of this series and other series that I do on 5 Minutes of Freddy's Fan Games. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my second channel where I do reaction videos, link will be in the description. Also, make sure to click that bell to enable alerts so you don't miss any of my uploads. And I'll be back next time with another episode. Alright? See ya.